Audio Jungle. Hello everyone. Uh, so now for the today's session, uh, we'll have a thrust required, right? So we'll dis uh, we'll discuss about the thrust required. Thrust required for for level. and unaccelerated flight and Un unaccelerated means for steady flight okay steady flight so we'll calculate thrust required so <clears throat> this analysis we can uh, check what is the steady and level flight What is the steady and level flight? First, steady and level flight is what? Suppose this is the aircraft. Okay. Fine. <coughs> For this aircraft, check because it is the level flight and definitely it is aircraft is what moving in this way with velocity infinity so definitely whatever the air air will be coming like this okay yes or no better i will remove this and will show this is the air okay this is the air coming towards the aircraft so as we know, if the air coming towards the aircraft with V infinity, the same velocity will be for the aircraft. Yes or no? Now, this is what free strain. Fine. If you check the different type of forces for the steady level, so definitely weight will be acting normally downwards, normal to the motion of the aircraft or normal to the motion of the free stream velocity perpendicular to the free stream velocity will be the lift force and it is moving in forward direction so that force which is responsible for the forward motion will be thrust and it will be opposed by the one force which is called drag so for the steady and level flight steady and level flight what we will get that is nothing but lift is equal to weight and thrust is equal to drag yes or no this is the one thing for the steady and level flight now if you go for the calculation of the thrust required if you go for the calculation of the thrust required so one small <coughs> Manipulation you have to do. What is that? It is nothing but thrust required or simply it is written as thrust is equal to drag for the steady level and because weight is equal to lift. So that we can do one thing. We can multiply by weight and divide by weight. Yes or no? Now, so this thrust required will be what? Drag into that weight you can write as <coughs> weight as it is and then you can write instead of w you can write lift yes or no because just now for a steady level flight lift is equal to weight or weight is equal to lift we can write like that. so now here it is nothing but weight into 1 upon L by D, we can write this. This is nothing but what? Thrust required. What is L by D? 
एल बाई डी इज नथिंग बट हाफ रोवी स्क्वायर एस इंटू सी एल डिवाइड बाई हाफ रोवी स्क्वायर इंटू एस इंटू सी डी सी एल सी डी लिफ्ट को फिशियन एंड ट्रैक को फिशियन वी कैन राइट दिस फॉर द कॉन्स्टेंट एंगल ऑफ अटैक ये सो नो सो दिस वैल्यू विल बी वॉट सी एल बाई सी डी ओके सो हियर ऑल्सो वी कैन राइट वेट इन टू वन अपॉन सी एल बाई सी डी वी कैन राइट दिस सो वी हैव दिस थ्रस्ट रिक्वायर्ड this is also so what is this thrust required is directly proportional to weight of aircraft if it is light aircraft thrust required will be less if it is heavy aircraft jumbo aircraft thrust required will be more thrust required will be more then you will have more powerful engine or number of engine you have to increase for that reason if you check very heavy aircraft jumbo jet aircraft or heavy aircraft uh, so that engine if you check two engine right wing two engine will be on left wing means four engines will be there why because it is very heavy aircraft so thrust required is always directly proportional to weight of aircraft even if it is very small aircraft like fighter aircraft engine uh, aircraft weight is very less so that time you will have only one engine yes or no but my point so thrust required will be directly proportional to weight of the aircraft number 1 number 2 thrust re uh, required is inversely proportional to l by d what is l by d l by d is nothing but aerodynamic efficiency so it is inversely proportional to aerodynamic efficiency if aerodynamic efficiency will be high thrust required will be less okay if aerodynamic efficiency is less thrust required will be more that's the mean of it these two conclusion you need to remember okay if they will ask in examination then you can answer, answer for one mark all right this is the one. drag puller already i have explained in last session so but in short i will explain again drag puller equation what is the drag puller equation drag puller equation is what it is the drag equation what is the drag total drag i must say total drag what is the total drag total drag is nothing but it is called zero lift drag plus lift dependent drag zero lift drag plus lift dependent drag also called as induced drag the so total d is equal to d not zero lift drag plus da okay you know what is the drag it is Half rho v square s into c d. What is d not? Half rho v square s into c d not. Half rho v square s into c d i. If you keep this, so what you will get? C d is equal to c d not plus c d i. Yes or no? C D is equal to C D not plus C D I. All right. Now, uh, what is this C D not? 
जीरो जीरो लिफ्ट ड्रैग कोफिशियंट वट इज सी डी आई इंड्यूस ड्रैग इंड्यूस ड्रैग कोफिशियंट ये सोर नो जीरो लिप ड्रैग कोफिशियंट एंड इंड्यूस ड्रैग कोफिशियंट ऑल राइट नाउ this zero lip drag coefficient also or d not which is nothing but zero lip drag d zero lip drag also called as a parasite drag what it is called parasite drag yes or no parasite drag and the coefficient will be parasite drag coefficients okay so this cd not i can write again it is zero lip drag coefficient okay or it is called parasite drag coefficient or it is also called profile drag coefficient there are the different name okay profile drag coefficient or parasite drag coefficient or zero lip drag coefficient fine similarly need to remember this similarly cdi cdi what is the cdi it is called lift dependent drag coefficient or it is also called it is also called induced drag coefficient that's the reason it is cdi i for induced drag induced drag coefficient or trailing vertex drag coefficient all right so these are the terminology you need to remember now this cdi mathematically it is given by the formula kcl square what is the cdi it is kcl square okay what is the k what is the k so k is the basically constant sometimes it is called as a lip dependent drag coefficient factor what it is called lip dependent drag coefficient factor which is given k is equal to mathematically it is given as 1 upon i e a r what is the k 1 upon pi e a r what is e is again it is called post wall efficiency okay what it is called e is nothing but called as post wall efficiency it is called post wall efficiency factor
पोस्ट वर्ल्ड इफिशियंसी फैक्टर व्हाट इज द ए आर एस्पेक्ट रेशियो व्हाट इज द एस्पेक्ट रेशियो एस्पेक्ट रेशियो इज नथिंग बट स्पैन स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाय विंग प्लेन फॉर्म एरिया इफ स्पैन इज बी स्क्वायर प्लेन फॉर्म एरिया इज एस व्हाट इज द प्लेन फॉर्म एरिया इट इज एस or sometimes it is denoted a but here you can denote s because in formula of lift and drag you have seen half rho v square scl so s is what plane form area or sometimes it is also called weighted area okay the ostwald efficiency factor generally it is less than 1 for elliptical beam what is the elliptical wing e is equal to 1 always remember for elliptical wing it is e is equal to 1 okay e is equal to 1 for elliptical wing fine so <coughs> like check for rectangular wing for rectangular wing see this is the rectangular wing okay this is b this is c c for chord okay chord chord of their foil you know that right chord so what is the plane form area it is b into c so what will be the aspect ratio for rectangular wing it is b square by s means b square divided by b into c means b by c this is for the rectangular wing all right so hope you understood the basic analysis of the drag polar equation and all the variables available in drag polar equation now you understood that all right fine now we have one analysis okay which is called as a like minimum drag condition because if you check for the aircraft what should be the condition condition should be like minimum drag because why what is the drag drag is the resistance okay if the aircraft is what moving then what is the resistance force for the motion it is drag if drag will be less than resistance for the aircraft uh motion will be less if resistance for the aircraft forward motion will be less then obviously thrust required will be very less yes or no so let me write what is the drag drag is nothing but resistance force for the moving aircraft okay if drag is less then what is the drag thrust required so thrust required will be less if thrust required is less okay thrust required will be less then fuel consumption for the engine will be will be less fuel uh, fuel consumption will be less there that then what will happen obviously you are saving the fuel means you will get economical benefits yes or no so that is what desired okay what is the desired thing that fuel consumption will be less you want that so for that reason you will always talk about the 
you will always talk about minimum drag condition if the pilot would be knowing what is the minimum drag condition for the aircraft so he or she will try to fly the aircraft at minimum drag condition and when minimum drag condition will be there then fuel consumption will be minimum fuel consumption will be will be minimum that will give the economical benefits means that is the desired thing hope you understood so now we are going to approach what is the minimum drag condition and and how we can uh, like uh, fly the aircraft so that we can achieve minimum drag condition what should be the condition what should be the criteria for uh, minimum drag condition that we have to find yes or no that we have to find so <clears throat> now check <coughs> we'll write minimum drag condition minimum drag condition yes or no okay we'll do this so <coughs> what is the drag drag is nothing but simple we have a uh, half rho v square s into cd okay this half rho v square s into what cd cd i told you cd not plus cdi yes or no right then it is you just break it half rho v square s cd not plus half rho v square s into cdi and what is the cdi it is kcl square yes or no? kcl square now <coughs> we know lift is equal to what half rho v square s into cl what is the cl actually lift is equal to what weight so we will get 2 w by rho s v square so this cl value okay what cl we got this cl value we have to keep here next slide huh? so what we have now drag check so this drag is half rho v square s into cd naught plus half rho v square s into k yes or no k <coughs> cl square what is the cl 2w divided by rho s v square kcl square so this is the kcl square yes or no 2 no? kcl square we will find this what we will get half rho v square s cd naught plus half rho v square s k 4 w square divided by rho square s square v to power 4 yes or no we will solve this what we will get half rho s cd naught this is what v square plus check 2 and 4 is 2 now check density we have rho and this is one density will be cancelled out s 1 s will be cancelled out v square we have v square will be cancelled out 1 v square will get because it is v to power 4 no? what will get here so we got 2 k w square divided by rho s 1 upon v to power 2 yes or no check this is the value we will get here yes or no this nothing but 2 k w square divided by rho s 
I'm going to power 4. Now check. Very important point I'm just going to tell you. <coughs> what is this first part? What is this first part? This first part if you check, it comes from first part which is nothing but CD0. No? Check this part. This is what? Half rho v square s c d naught. What is the half rho v square s c d naught? Half rho v square s c d naught. See, this is nothing but d naught. What is the d naught? It is the parasite drag. Or you can say it is profile drag. Yes or no? So, I can say this is first part is nothing but parasite drag. Okay. This is what parasite drag. And this is nothing but obviously induced drag. Induced drag. Okay. So, <coughs> for the parasite drag, okay, for for parasite drag, what we got d is equal to half rho s c d naught into v square yes or no check half rho s c d naught into v square that means drag directly proportional to v square means velocity square yes or no should be very clear there there should not be any kind of confusion fine now for induced drag check drag is equal to we got here if you remember 2k w square see 2k w square by rho s means drag directly proportional to or inversely proportional to velocity square. Yes or no? For this we will draw the diagram. So, it will be more clear to us. Yeah, because this is the first graphical uh, representation. Graphically if you will understand then we will go for the mathematical point of view. Right? Now, so we have to draw the plot. What is the plot? Plot we have drag versus velocity drag versus velocity right now so first we'll draw for the parasite drag okay first we'll draw the parasite drag so let me take this okay parasite drag what is the parasite drag check drag directly proportional to velocity square it is just like a parabola so just like parabola means like this Yes or no? This is what just like a parabola. This is drag directly proportional to velocity square which is nothing but parasite drag. Parasite drag. Fine. What is the next? Next is the induced drag. What is the induced drag check? Drag inversely proportional to velocity square. Okay. So, drag inversely proportional to velocity square means it will be like this is what 
drag is directly proportional to or oh, sorry drag is inversely proportional to velocity square and this is what induced drag if you check the resultant okay if you check the resultant of the plot so where resultant will lie see this part is what decreasing so here it is increasing similarly this part is what increasing here so this part is what decreasing you got my point yes or no so <coughs> this plot you can say a o b c o d so a o b if it is continuously decreasing and c o d if it is continuously increasing so one part is what like uh, you can draw one line here so it will be more clear check yes so half half the part where <coughs> velocity is what increasing see half of the part here velocity uh, you you are getting velocity increasing but drag is what decreasing is it possible no generally for the complete full if you check total drag so total drag will increase when velocity will increase but here in this case now before this i mean this side if you check this ao ao is what velocity is what increasing but drag is what decreasing yes or no ao for the ao velocity is what increasing but drag is what decreasing check what about <coughs> i am talking about ao what about od check od still od in case od velocity is what increasing but drag is also increasing so this is the physically possible i mean if velocity will increase drag will increase total drag that is true so for that reason this ao reason na so two reason you got what is that one is ao another is od so for that reason ao reason is uh, called as reason of velocity in stability okay and od reason will be called as reason of velocity stability why it is called stability this is stable and this is unstable right why because if velocity will increase then drag should increase but ao in this reason uh, velocity increasing but drag is what decreasing which is not good for the aircraft so it is like unstable so this type of instability called as reason of velocity in stability let me write reason reason of velocity in stability and this side it is the reason of velocity okay velocity stability that is correct if velocity of the aircraft will increase then drag will increase that is true it means it is stable so od will be the stable zone and ao will be unstable zone understood so this is the plot basically drag versus velocity but where is the minimum drag condition if you check where is the minimum drag and what is the total drag so for that i need to draw another diagram uh, i mean the same diagram i have to draw but in next slide so here check this is nothing but check here so here easily you can understand where is the minimum drag condition okay so this is what drag d and this is what velocity d yes or no again the same thing we'll do we have a 
parasite drag so in parasite drag it is drag directly proportional to velocity so drag directly proportional to velocity square and where is the uh, this induced drag so induced drag will be somewhat here this is what induced drag okay this is the induced drag where drag is what inversely proportional to velocity square and this is what parasite drag where drag is directly proportional to velocity square all right drag is directly proportional to velocity square fine velocity square yes or no nice so where is the resultant of this okay so resultant will be somewhat here this will be the resultant okay if you draw properly you will get like this so in this case if you check this is the resultant of parasite and induced drag okay so this will be what this will be total drag total drag d because this is the induced drag di this is the parasite drag d not so total drag will be what d is equal to d not plus di yes or no fine so this is the total drag for this total drag if you check what is the minimum point of this total drag that minimum point where you are getting check this is the minimum drag d mean and where it is happening is velocity will be velocity at minimum drag understood so if you check where minimum drag you will achieve where the two plots i mean parasite drag line and induced drag line where it is crossing to each other so at from the plot you got at minimum drag where it is happening you can say this is point o where it is crossing to each other so d meaning d min occurring at point o yes or no at point o and at point o that two lines basically parasite drag line and induced drag line are co crossing to each other so at point o at point o can you say because two lines are crossing like c so at this point where it is crossing to each other that magnitude of that two will be same or not so at o can you say at point o can you say parasite drag uh, wait yes can you say here at point o this is the point o just at point o parasite drag equal to induced drag yes you can say at point o where that two lines are crossing to each other so that you can say both values are same at that point o so where d mean occurs d means occur at d means occur at condition what is the condition where d not is equal to di this is the graphical representation understood for our understanding but with the help of this we cannot solve the gate problem how we can solve gate problem by the analytical way this was the graphical analysis okay minimum drag occurs when the parasite drag is equal to induced drag what conclusion you got
कंक्लूजन वॉट कंक्लूजन ग्राफिकली वी हैव सीन वॉट वी हैव सीन वी हैव सीन दैट that minimum drag okay occurs minimum drag occurs when when the when the profile drag or or profile drag or parasite drag is equal to is equal to induced drag means parasite drag is what d not is equal to induced drag or in terms of coefficient cd not is equal to cdi or is equal to what is cdi it is KCL square. This is what. This is the gate question. This is the gate question. So at d min at d min means at minimum drag. At minimum drag, what is that condition? D not is equal to d i, or c d not is equal to c d i, or is equal to KCL square. Graphically, we got this. Now check this. This is the graph. Fine. Now we'll go by the analytical way. So again, it is very simple, and that is important because question will be asked to you based on an analytical analysis, not graphical. Graphical is just for understanding. Okay. Or they can give the graph and they can ask where is the d min and what is the condition for the d min. That they can ask no problem. If they will ask, then you can answer it. Okay. Fine. now minimum drag analytical so <coughs> how to get that simple one only okay. minimum drag condition all right so little bit manipulation what is the manipulation drag is equal to we know that uh, we can write drag is equal to drag but if you multiply by what you can multiply w by w okay or you can write drag into w you can write w but this w you can write write l that is lift because lift is equal to weight that you know so this is the small manipulation Yes or no? Now this is nothing but W into d by l. All right. So <coughs> this d by l also you can write. I explained in previous slides. What d by l you can write? You can write c d by c l. That also already I have explained. No need to explain again. <coughs> then it is w weight into cd cd is nothing but cd not plus kcl square that is drag polar equation that also i have explained no need to again no need to give the explanation again because already just now i have explained okay cd not plus kcl square weight is what constant so if i say i need d min i need d min okay then what we what we will do because weight is constant we cannot do anything so for the d min what uh, value will be minimum this cd not plus kcl square by cl this should be minimum yes or no this should be minimum for minimum d min for minimum drag this uh, value should be minimum bracket value because weight is constant so we cannot touch the weight only cd not plus kcl square by cl we can say if this bracket value will be minimum then we will get drag minimum 
all right so here we can write what we can write for drag for drag minimum okay td not plus kcl square by cl this bracket value okay bracket value should be minimum that we have to write should be minimum understood now again td not plus kcl square by cl if i am saying this is minimum then what is the mean of it what is the mean of it bracket no? don't think this is mod if i am saying this is minimum then what you will do you have to differentiate it and make it equal to zero that is the one thing i mean slope you have to show slope will be zero yes or no that is the mean okay so <clears throat> Here, if you check, suppose this is the one function y axis and this is x axis, and for the function you are getting plot like this. Huh? So, if you check at the maximum, this is the maximum, and this is what minimum. So, at maximum and minimum, what is the slope? At maximum and minimum point slope will be what zero yes or no for that reason if you are going to maximize or if you are going to minimize that time you just take the slope slope is what what is the slope here okay slope is for y and x axis slope is nothing but dy by dx Yes or no? This is the slope. So, slope will be 0. And if you make slope equal to 0, it means that point will be maximum or minimum. Anything can happen. Maximum or minimum. Here you are going to minimize this. So, this bracket value should be minimum. So, to, to minimize this bracket value, you have to take the slope. Slope means that depreciation and depreciation with respect to what? Variable. What is the variable? See a lift coefficient. Because CD naught is constant, K is constant. So CL is variable. So you have to take differentiation with respect to CL of this bracket. Okay. And make it equal to 0. If you do that, then you will say this is the condition for the minima minimize the function or minimize the bracket here. Yes or no? Now take this. So, what you will get? It is like u by b form. So, it is Cl square. Okay. It is Cl square. Then, uh, denominator differentiation. Then, you have to take differentiation of the numerator. Okay. So, write this. Cd naught differentiation will be 0 plus differentiation of this 2k Cl minus you have to write this bracket cd naught kcl square and cl differentiation in denominator it will be one because it is differentiating with respect to cl only so this value you will get yes or no if you solve then what you will get you will get 2 kcl square check the bracket 2 kcl square first bracket minus minus td naught minus kcl square equal to denominator cross multiplication so denominator will be zero now i mean it will go and multiply with zero so it will be zero right what you got 2 kcl square minus kcl square it is nothing but kcl square minus td naught is equal to zero what you got you can say cd naught is equal to kcl what is the kcl square it is CDI means what? What is the CD naught? Parasite drag. What is the CDI? It is parasite drag coefficient better. 
and it is induced by propulsion. We have seen right KCL square is equal to C D I. So, <coughs> what is the condition where you achieve? What is the conclusion? Conclusion is at minimum drag at minimum drag what you got parasite drag is equal to parasite drag coefficient is equal to induced drag coefficient or 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 what you can say or you can say parasite drag is equal to induced drag yes or no this is the the same thing you have achieved here on graphical way also see this was the graphical d naught is equal to d i or c d naught is equal to c d i or is equal to k c l square the same thing you have achieved huh? <coughs> this is what analytical huh? so what you got d naught is equal to d i at d min d naught is equal to d i or c d naught is equal to c d i this is the conclusion you got both way okay because why i have shown you graphical point of view also that got graphical point of view explanation was required why so the student can relate it graphically yes or no Analytically, I mean mathematically, if I will derive, you will get the result, but you cannot relate basically. But graphically, you have related like, okay, when that uh, parasite drag and induced drag are crossing to each other, then only will get minimum drag. No? And you have seen the plot and you have decided, okay, okay, this is the minimum drag. The same thing. If you go in analytical way, then you mathematically you will uh, perform and then you will get this result. Understood? But that story is what not uh, ended here. What now you have, but gate question they are asking. That is the one type of question like what is the condition for the minimum drag. So, you have to answer where the parasite drag becomes in, induced drag or parasite drag equal to induced drag. Then uh, minimum drag condition can be achieved. But under this minimum condition, what result you got, that question will be asked to you in examination. So, you have to write. <coughs> What you have to write at minimum drag condition, at minimum drag condition, okay, or you can write under, you can write under the minimum drag condition. Under the minimum drag. condition under the minimum drag condition what is that you have to write first which is nothing but lift coefficients one by one we have to do number one lift coefficient at minimum drag so that will be denoted by lift coefficient cl but it is minimum drag so you have to write md md for minimum drag so clmd means lift coefficient at minimum drag how to get this very simple what result you got td not is equal to k cl square so, this CL is not normal CL, this CL is the minimum drag CL, yes or no? So, here 
it will be cl md what you will have td not by k so this cl md is very powerful formula okay and uh, you have to use this for the numerical point of view you need to remember this this is the CLMD which is called lip coefficient at minimum drag. Okay. Similarly, we have to write point number two. What is point number two? Drag coefficient at minimum drag condition yes or no right how to achieve this you know td not is equal to cdi is equal to kcl square this is the minimum drag condition if you write drag polar cd is equal to what td not plus uh, cdi Yes, or you can say CD naught plus KCL square meaning same. So what is the CD? Now CD it is CD MD minimum drag. So CD naught plus what is the CD I check? It is CD naught again. So we have two naught. So basically minimum drag coefficient CD MD will be two times of the CD naught. number two okay similarly similarly third one we have velocity at velocity at minimum drag condition How to get this velocity? Simple formula we need to remember. L is equal to for a steady level flight, L is equal to W is equal to half rho V square S into C L. Right? Now we are writing minimum drag, so this C L will be minimum drag. C L. And this velocity, if you calculate here, also you can write minimum drag. So this V M D will be what? 2 W divide by rho s plmd yes or no huh? all right <coughs> rho s clmd that you can write again if you want to break clmd you can break it's your choice okay it's your choice if you want you can write like this 2 w divided by rho s to whole power 1 by 2 and clmd will be what cd naught by k so k will go in numerator divided by cd naught but it is cd naught by k was in root so double root you will have so it will be 1 by 4 you can check by your own you may get that this is the vmd yes or no this is the vmd velocity at I will suggest don't remember the formula at least you should know how to calculate that clmd you have to calculate and keep here in the formula and directly you can get vmd don't remember the formula always okay here i am explaining so that you can understand but the formula i will suggest don't remember all formula huh? right then last we have what is the last aerodynamic efficiency what is the aerodynamic efficiency last four number aerodynamic efficiency at minimum drag condition what is the aerodynamic efficiency at minimum drag it is e md aerodynamic efficiency is what denoted by 
T. What is the formula L by D? So you can write L by T or you can write CL by CD, but it is not normal CL, it is CLMD by CDMD. What is CLMD? It is CD naught by K. What is the CDMD? Two times of CD naught. So what is the EMD? You can check. You can write 1 upon 2 root CD naught K I think. No? Check this, you can do by your own also. So this is the final result. So today what we have seen, we have seen the how to calculate thrust required, dependency of the thrust required, you, you have to uh, like uh, draw by the diagram also, na? check where is the thrust required, diagram also you can draw for this, <coughs> fine here, thrust required, so L by D, you can check this. So, if you check the result, so TR thrust required will be minimum when 1 upon L by D will be maximum. So, if you draw the plot, you can get that. Yes or no? Thrust required and L by D max. Then easily it is available. You can uh, check. You can draw here by this way. This is what? This is the thrust required. Okay. And now suppose this is the velocity graph. Okay. Velocity in meter per second. So, if you draw the thrust required versus velocity, so you have seen that uh, this type of graph you may get. Yes or no? Like one is cool. Huh? Total drag you have seen. Total drag is nothing but thrust required. Yes or no? So total drag you have seen. This is the plot for total drag. Okay. So the minimum L by D you may get here. At this point, this is the point where you will have L by D max. Okay, so this value will be minimum thrust TR. So, like thrust required, you have seen dependency of thrust required to the weight of the aircraft that you have seen. Drag polar equation you have seen here. All the explanation I have given, whatever it was possible in shorter time of period. See, and uh, <coughs> this is the graphical uh, representation of the minimum drag. Okay, conclusion also available here for the minimum drag and condition also and again uh, mathematical uh, analytical way also we have for the minimum drag condition and at the minimum drag condition what are the parameters like lift coefficient CLMD, drag coefficient at minimum drag will be CDMD, let me write this is called CDMD, CDMD, CDMD. Okay, here it is written. Then <coughs> velocity at minimum drag condition, it should be VMD. So VMD also you got it. Similarly, aerodynamic efficiency at minimum drag. So this is nothing but VMD. Fine, and you will find the result also. So <coughs> this session was totally related to minimum drag condition. Next class will have a minimum power required condition. Thank you. Thank you all.